everybody and welcome to another episode of everything one note today i'm talking distribution i'm going to go through how to distribute or send work out to the students but even just explain how the process of distribution works because i find for a lot of staff that are new to one note or teams this can be the most confusing part is understanding how it all works and pushing work out to the students so i've created this class in a previous video where i looked at setting up a class notebook in teams I am working from Teams in this video. It looks essentially the same as the app or the online version, but my um, app is playing up a little bit at the moment. So I'm working from Teams. So what we've got so far is in a previous video, I have a few students and I have set up three sections for each student. We've got assessment, we've got marketing, we've got personal finance. So the students have three sections each, but they're blank at the moment. So they don't actually have any work in there. So what we need to do is we need to send some work to the kids so they can go and complete it. Now the can, students can view the work in the content library. And as I talked about in the best practice video, only send out work that you intend for students to complete or do some kind of work on. So whether it's, a, you can send out content if you want them to be highlighting, writing over, making notes, that sort of stuff. But generally you wanna create worksheets and send the worksheets and leave the content in the content library. So I'm going to say we're working from our personal finance unit in the content library and you can see all of my work here. Now I work with a setup of content and then I have worksheets as sub pages set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to send the content to the kids. I'm just going to send the worksheets because that's all I want to be reviewing and checking. The kids can go and find the information in the content library and complete the work in their private section. So let's say I want to send this worksheet. Where does your money go to the students? Up the top here, if you click on class notebook, I've already got it open, it brings up some of your options for distributing. Now, the first one you have, um, the next one I have, sorry, is distribute new section and section group. Now, I probably recommend this should be set up first in front of distribute page, because if you haven't created any sections for the students yet, you're not gonna have anywhere to send your page. So you need to first create sections for the students, which essentially are like empty folders, uh, once you do that, which we have already done this because we pre-set it up in Teams, but if I wanted to send this to a different folder or a new folder, I would hit distribute new section. That's going to come up with this option and I might call it self-assessment because I might decide it needs a folder of itself and that is now distributed and that's sending that blank folder or blank section into the student section. So it's probably not going to pop up straight away but there eventually will be a new section pop up there called self-assessment. Now let's say I want to send the work out to the kids. Let's say I want to send this self-assessment page to that self-assessment folder I've just created. So when you're distributing, you need to click on the correct folder you want, which is our personal finance, and then go and find the page that you want. So you can see now it's highlighted pink. Whatever page I'm clicked on, that's what's going to distribute. So when I hit distribute page, you see I've got a few options now. So they've added a few new features in the last couple of years. It's actually really cool now. For most of us, we're going to hit distribute page and that's going to send that page to the student. So I might do that and then I might talk through the other features while it's distributing. So you can see that self-assessment feature um, section has now popped up. So that's where I want to send it to because that's the folder that I created for the kids. I'm sending them a self-assessment, so it makes sense. I'm going to send it to that folder. So I'm going to choose that and then I'm going to hit distribute. So it will distribute in the background now. Uh, once upon a time, you had to wait for that to send out, but that will distribute and it will even sort of show you the percentage of the progress of it going, but you can just close it and walk away. I'm just gonna close it and I'm gonna talk through these other features here. So we have distribute page, which is what I'm doing now. That's gonna send out that page to all students, that all students in your team are gonna receive that page. Individual distribution makes sense. It's basically you can send out it to a specific student. Group distribution, sending out to multiple students. Cross new book distribution is a cool one where if you have multiple classes, you might have, I might have two or three business classes at the same time. And instead of distributing in every single class, I can do it all from the one notebook and it will send to all three classes at once. The only trick with this is you need to make sure you've named your student sections exactly the same. If you um, write personal finance and then you write personal finance slightly differently, maybe you spell it differently, an error, or you just write um, finance, 
it's not going to pick up that they're the same and you won't be able to distribute to multiple notebooks. So just a quick tip, make sure your student sections across multiple notebooks that you want to send out are all named exactly the same. And the other very cool one that came out not too long ago is the delete page option. So I've spent hours and hours of time in the past going through students' work individually um, and deleting one by one that page from the student notebook. So if you send a page out by accident, maybe you weren't finished it, maybe you sent it and you forgot you sent it and you sent it again, and you want to retrieve that page, that delete page option is very, very cool and is going to save you a lot of time in being able to recall or pull back a page from every kid's notebook. That's going to save you hours and hours of time um, that some of us have already been through before they brought in that awesome feature. So I'm going to have a look now and see if that page has turned up for my students. So I'm going to go to... I still don't have that self-assessment yet, okay? It obviously is still sinking. You can see it was there, but it hasn't popped up as a student section yet, but that will eventually pop up and that self-assessment page should be there. It might still be distributing in the background, but while I do that, I'll talk about one more thing and that's distributing a section group. Now we have sections and section groups. These things here, the teacher only, content library, collab space, our students, they're section groups. So they're essentially folders within folders is the easiest way to think of it. If you create a section group, you might have much larger OneNotes. Um, it could be, you could break it up by term or semester. So you might have to, just enables you to keep the student sections nice and neat um, within folders. So you might create one for term one. And then when, within term one, you might have, you know, personal finance, assessment, self-assessment, homework, something else. And then within a term two, you know, then you might have marketing assignments, that sort of stuff. And it will all come under and keep it nice and neat by creating section groups rather than having um, just 10 or 12 different sections under each student. So that is essentially how you distribute and how distribution works in Microsoft OneNote. Um, thanks for watching. Ciao.